Hi Vogue, it's Jasmine Lee, and I'm here to show you my guide to it girl makeup. Girl, I wish. <laughs> um, I tried my best with making a little fancy Vogue bathroom background, but this is all I got. <laughs> I will mention that I added that white towel on purpose because I feel like that's what rich people have and like they're sophisticated and fancy and they have white towels. I will say that it has nasty stains on it. Like there's like gross like brown and orange spots on it but I swear it's just hair dye. <laughs> on a real note, I wanted to show you my everyday makeup routine. Uh, as a person with monolids, I feel like we don't have a lot of representation in the makeup space because girl, it took me so long to figure out how to do my makeup and as your big sis, I'm here to show you. I know everyone's attention spans are like goldfish now, me too, but today's my birthday. Hi. Oh my God, so exciting. Actually, F my birthday, I'm always crying, but I might be crying tears of joy today because I have an exciting announcement later. I'll explain it more in a bit. I know you guys don't care right now, but yeah. <laughs> my last makeup routine was like six months ago. Baby, I have new techniques for you, new tips and tricks. Like we're evolving. All the folk girlies start off with their skincare. Forehead is out and we're ready to exfoliate. I love using this Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. Whenever I wake up, girl, I'm crusty. Like I have so much sebum on my nose and this really gets all the gunk out. Suki's literally Hi. in my sink right now, so I'm gonna need to like shove her off. <laughs> we got a live audience today, but first thing you wanna do is wet your face. And then with your already wet hand, you're just going to put a little bit on, rub it together like this, and then go in. It always feels so nice and fresh afterwards. Next, I go in with toner pads. I have rosacea on my cheeks and my nose. So I'm just going to have these pads sit here for a little bit. It's kind of like a baby. Oh, <sighs> no. It fell in the sink. <sighs> Anyways, it's basically like a little sheet mask. Okay, if I'm going to be so for real with you right now, I feel so insecure. <laughs> like it took me a freaking minute to decide if I wanted to do this like video because I was looking at reference videos, right? And I'm like, damn, all these girls are so pretty. Will people even watch mine? Like, do people even care? But no, I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now. No, I'm not gonna be mean to myself. I literally just did a video about self-confidence and here I am being a fucking hypocrite. Like, I don't know what to do. By the time this video goes out, I'm gonna be 23. Why, why can't I just be happy? Literally. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I'm beautiful and I'm awesome. I'm gonna let this sit for another like five minutes or so and then get back to you. Okay, five minutes. I'm just gonna wipe it across my face like this so the rest of my face gets to soak in the good stuff. Also make sure to get your neck. I have gnarly neck wrinkles and it's kind of annoying but it's actually my fault though because I'm out here on my phone like sitting like this all the time so I don't know what I was expecting. And I'm going in with this glow serum. I just took a little bit and then I'm just gonna swipe that across my face because I want to look healthy and glowy. <laughs> For moisturizer, I use this Panthenol Rebarrier Cream. I feel like my skin barrier is not doing so hot. So I feel like this moisturizer should help me. Sometimes I like to take this time to kind of sculpt out and kind of deep puff my face. I use my hands like this and then I go in trying to shape a jawline. I know a better way to do this is to actually use a gua sha, but I don't know, I'm too lazy right now. So I feel like your hands still work really well. We all know the importance of sunscreen by now. So I'm gonna be using this super goop one. It's the unseen one. The only thing is that, okay, I like it. It doesn't pill and I like how it's transparent. It doesn't have a white cast, but it smells kind of funny. I don't mind because it does what it needs to do. That's something me and my friends notice because they have their own bottles too. Put some on my neck because we can't forget her. Literally not me wearing jewelry while I'm doing my skincare. <laughs> the second I put these Vivian Westwood earrings in, like my bad bitch mode is activated. And that's why I need it today. I need a little pick me up because again, I'm not feeling great about myself. Oh my gosh, how can I forget? I have to moisturize these lips. Take a little scoop like that and then put it on my lips. Ooh, a little flaky. <laughs> Skin is glowy and prepped and we're ready to go on to the makeup. I really wish I can be a girly that just wears concealer, but because I have so much redness like all over my face, foundation is just the easiest way to go. So I take like a pump-ish of it and then dab it all across my face. I'm taking this kind of short and stubby and hard, dense <laughs> brush and just kind of buffing it into my skin. I like to pat and then circle, pat, circle. I try not to put too much makeup on my nose just because there's like a lot of texture there and I feel like the more products I put on it emphasizes it a little bit more. For my concealer, I like to have it sit for like two minutes or so. Really let it sink in there. While that's sitting, I like to do my eyebrows. 
I brought out my little fancy Gucci mirror. Like, she's a fancy girl, okay? Let's extend the tail a little bit. I don't try to go too downwards because I don't want to look sad. I used to try really hard to have a defined brow shape. I was just not meant to have bushy brows. And that's okay. So I just really go in precisely where I have bold spots. I totally forgot to put on primer. But pretend I put on this primer from Milk. The concealer is set, so I'm just gonna dab that in really gently with my ring finger. And before I go in with powder, I go in with my setting spray. It feels so nice and sexy, but a huge tip that I have for you, when you're putting all your base makeup on, you want to make sure that your primer, your foundation, and your setting spray are all the same like formula. And what I mean by that is that you want to make sure that if your foundation is water-based, that your primer and your setting spray is also water-based. And if it's silicone-based, match it all together because if you're out here mixing and matching, your makeup is going to separate and it's going to look like shit. I have to set it with powder, especially since it's summertime now and I'm out here sweating. I take a little puff like this, dab it in, and make sure you scrape it so then there's like an even layer. Ew, it looks nasty. Anyways, whatever. Now I'm just gonna go in and dab it in really gently. I used to use a brush for my powder, but I found that with a little powder puff like this, it really settles in to all like the crevices and everything like that. So it really blurs out the skin. I think Suki's hair. Not even gonna lie, babes. I'm so excited about my skin. She's looking beautiful. To bring some color back into my face, I'm gonna go in with blush. It's like a blush and a highlight in one. Blush placement, blush placement. Blush paste blush placement can really change the shape of your face. You can really control where the blush goes, where the <laughs> Am I okay? Where the blush goes. It's also fairly dense too, which I think is good for a kind of like creamier product like this. I personally like to go kind of under the eyes like this. It gives you a really cute effect. I feel like this placement would be flattering on a lot of people, and what I've been doing is closing this eye and then going in and kind of using it as a like little eyeshadow as well. I'm basically creating a C shape with my blush. Whenever I do this, I always look like an Animal Crossing character that just got stung by a wasp. <laughs> I feel like it looks really nice. It's cute, but a little bit sexy at the same time. I feel like my face went, <sighs> I don't know. Can you tell? All right, all right. Moving on to my favorite part and kind of my most iconic part of my makeup, my eyes. This is a shout out for my monolid girlies. I'm gonna teach you how to do your eyeliner. I used to be a black eyeliner girl, okay? Like it was my ride or die. I loved looking a little bit more bold with my eyeliner, but honestly, I really, really love the look of dark brown eyeliner. It still has that kick, but it's a little bit more subtle. I personally like using eyeliners that are like a brush like this. I don't know, with felt tip liners and stuff, I get like really nervous. <laughs> you have to follow your natural eye shape, okay? We're out here emphasizing the features we already have and we're being proud of them. We're not trying to hide them. We're here to embrace. So taking the natural direction of my waterline, I will just extend that line. Make sure to relax your face. You're not trying to open your eyes like this or close it. You want to be relaxed because that's how your face is going to look like most of the time. So you don't want your eyeliner to look crazy, girl. Wait, I just talked so much that the eyeliner dried. Okay. Flick. That's why I like using these kinds of brushes because you can just go in and flick and then I'll have like the tiniest little tapered line like that. And then you want to go in the middle of that line. You don't want to start this next line at that taper because you want it to be as thin as possible. So go in from the middle and go in a straight line into the middle of like your actual eye like this. Okay, the outer ring is done. As you can see, if I look straight on, it just looks like an extension of my eye. I'm not going anything crazy directions. It just looks like my eye is a little bit more defined and elongated. For my model lid girls, we don't have to go with the eyeliner all the way to our inner corner because when we open our eyes, Girl, you can't see it anyways. So just stop right there because you don't want the line to be too thick. You don't want the liner to take over your eye. I know y'all are sick of me for doing this eyeliner every single time and explaining it, but it's really my girl. They're not completely even, but they look related and that's all that matters. Moving on to the inner corners, it's the same thing. You wanna see how your eyes naturally lay and then just follow those lines. It looks really, really goofy if you draw in your inner corner and make it a little bit too high up or a little too down. Just follow your natural eye shape, baby. Have a teeny bit amount on your brush, relax your face, and go for it. That's the first line I do, follows my natural eye shape, then just make a little triangle. I've gotten so many comments in these last months asking what lashes I use, and I'm so excited to announce that I'm coming up with lashes. I'm so excited. 
I'm launching my first product ever with Doe Lashes. I'm so excited and grateful. This has been almost two years in the making. If you're interested in watching the entire process and everything like that up until now, I posted a video on TikTok and Instagram about that. I named them High Hottie because of course, like only hotties and it girls would wear this lash. Like we're just like this. We have a community. If you have monolids, hooded eyelids, or you just want to look like a bad bitch wearing eyelashes, any eye shape would look fucking stunning with these lashes, I swear. I was working with my graphic designer friend. That's my eye right there, which is crazy. And we also included a lot of different other eye shapes because I just wanted to have like some representation there because I feel like a lot of lashes, like it took me years to try to find lashes that fit me. That's why this took almost two years to make. I was being so picky with everything. This is a little unboxing time. Oh my God, I can cry right now. Like I'm just so excited and I'm so happy with the end result. These are what the lashes look like. They're a little bit spiky, but not too dramatic. It really gives you that like sexy, lurid but like also cute vibe it's super it girl energy for monoliths and hooded eyelids i feel like lashes weren't made with our eye shapes in mind and the curl wouldn't be at the base it would be like in the middle and then our like eye fat right here would just like push it down and it would make your eyes be swallowed by lashes so a huge thing for me was the actual curl of it i don't really want to use a new pair right now so these are the ones that i've been using every single day because i only have a limited amount when i tell you i swear that these are my favorite lashes ever i have such a scarcity mindset with the samples that i have that i try to find like a dupe <laughs> in my lash collection and none of them look as good as the lashes that i designed like literally pat on my back i seriously hope i'm not sounding too hashtag influencer i just truly believe in it i really poured my heart and soul into this thing because hottie you're not gonna catch me slipping and making a product that sucks okay i hate that little empty spot so i take a black eyeliner and just fill in that gap okay enough talk about my lashes i'll let them speak for themselves okay like just tell me i don't look like super sexy and hot actually please don't tell me like if you don't think i look sexy and hot just don't comment it I'm sensitive. <laughs> if you're interested in these lashes, you can check the description box. I appreciate you. There are also going to be starter packs available with my lash and a little tin with all of my doe lash favorites as well. This is such an incredible opportunity. Like, I'm just so grateful to be able to do something like this to help my girlies feel like their most confident and hot self. The eyes are not done. It's a brown color to kind of match the wing that we have going on here. I take it, then I go from, you know, like where what is it called the iris the iris of the eye where it ends right there and then i just extend out in a horizontal line i can't really explain it so just watch what i'm doing oh no it's fairly subtle but i think it just adds a little pop i love glitter so i have a couple colors right here these are from innisfree and i really like it because it's super chunky i just go in and line it up with my pupil and just do a little bit of a swipe i don't go too crazy but i feel like my eyes pop a little bit more it just looks very beautiful to me to me okay we're almost done with the eyes i'm gonna go in with my shiseido eyelash curler and if you have Asian eyes or kind of like almond eyes, the shape is absolutely perfect. I have non-existent bottom lashes, so I have to curl them for when I put mascara on them so it doesn't just poke into my eye. I make a crazy face and then I just try to put my bottom lashes into this little opening. Do I look sexy? This Clio Kill Lash Mascara is a godsend like i love the shape of it i don't know what it is but it's the best for stubborn and short lashes can you see my baby lashes <laughs> we can breathe eyes are done i'm gonna go in and contour my nose this one from fenty is great because it's more like gray tone it's not super bronzing because when you think about shadows they're not orange <laughs> oh no where's my brush where's my brush okay we got it. These are the lines that I do for my nose contour. Make sure you blend it all the way up here too as well to make it look a little bit more natural. Contouring and bronzing is different, y'all. The more you know. I wanna look like I have glowy skin. So for highlight, I just go in with this color and then just go across. <gasps> beautiful. What was I even on today? I'm beautiful, I'm gorgeous, and I'm awesome. And I'm a freaking girl boss for coming out with my own lash. I'm gonna be proud of myself. So I put it just on the high points of my cheeks. A little bit on my nose all we have to do now are lips i'm gonna take my hair down just so we can get the full picture the ultimate lazy girl it girl lip product that i've been using is this one from hourglass it's a glossy balm i'm gonna take off the lip balm that i have right now this shade is just so like delicious i just feel so hot with a glossy lip like, you just want to kiss me so bad right now i know you do okay my loves this is the final look 
if you're interested, my lash is finally out. You can check the description. And if any of you hotties wear them, please tag me in a photo. I can't wait to see how they look on you. I know you're gonna look beautiful and gorgeous. Like, this is awesome. If you can't buy, if you don't wanna buy, that's totally okay. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh wait, this is supposed to be a Vogue video. How do they end these videos? Bye Vogue. <laughs>